Today we will be reading the story Marching Orders in our Sir Gus Reader. You can listen to me read the story aloud or you can pause the video to read the story on your own. Here we go! Marching Orders The next morning, the knight known as Sir Doug arrived at the palace. He found Sir Gus in the king's kitchen cooking eggs and bacon. Good morning, said a cheery Sir Gus. Sir Gus, cried Sir Doug. Sir Tom and Sir Ed need your help. They do, said Sir Gus, who was beginning to suspect that there would be no time to eat breakfast. Yes, replied Sir Doug. Their sudden night attack in the field of the west did not go well. They were engaged in fierce fighting with the Black Knight. They have battled all night. They sent me to beg you to come with the rest of the army and save them. Sir Gus, the rest of the army is awaiting your command. Yes, indeed, my command, replied Sir Gus, knowing that he must go at once. Go and saddle the horses. We will all ride at once. A little while later, Sir Gus appeared in front of the king's palace. He was dressed for battle and holding the map Sir Tom had given him. My friends, Sir Gus announced, we will ride south until we get to the old stone bridge. Then we will use the bridge to come across the misty river and enter King Henry's kingdom. Sir Doug and the rest of the men looked puzzled. But Sir Gus, said Sir Doug, the old stone bridge is north of here, not south. Is it? said Sir Gus. Then we will ride north. Very well, said Sir Doug, but if you don't mind my asking, Sir Gus, why should we ride all the way up to the old stone bridge? That will take us ten miles away from the fighting. Sir Ed and Sir Tom need us. Would it not be better to take the quickest way? The battle is just west of here. If we ride west to the river, we can dismount and walk our horses across the river. It's too dangerous, Sir Gus said. What Sir Gus did not tell them was that he did not know how to swim and was frightened to cross the river on foot. And that was the real reason why Sir Gus and his men rode north. Now it's time to answer questions about the story, Marching Orders. I will read the multiple choice questions aloud and you can find the answer. Number one, what is Sir Gus cooking when Sir Doug arrives? A, frogs and toads, B, eggs and bacon, C, grits and greens. Number two, what does Sir Doug tell Sir Gus? A, you need to cook more eggs, B. Sir Tom and Sir Ed want bacon. Or C. Sir Tom and Sir Ed need your help. Number three. Why did Sir Tom and Sir Ed need help? A. The night attack did not go well. B. The army needed breakfast. Or C. The bridge was broken. Number four. Who sent Sir Doug to get help? A. The Black Knight. B, Sir Gus, or C, Sir Tom and Sir Ed. Number five, why were Sir Doug and the rest of the men puzzled? A, Sir Gus told the knights to ride in the wrong direction. B, Sir Gus was eating breakfast. Or C, Sir Gus did not have a map. Number six, why does Sir Doug think it would be better to cross the river than to march over the bridge? A. It is faster to cross the river. B. The bridge is broken. Or C. The horses like to drink the water. Number seven. Why did Sir Gus say it was too dangerous to cross the river? A. Sir Gus wants to swim later. B. Sir Gus doesn't know how to swim. Or C. Sir Gus did not want the horses to get wet. Number eight. Number these sentences in the correct order. Sir Gus wanted to cross the river at the bridge. Sir Gus was dressed for battle. Sir Gus was cooking breakfast. Sir Gus and his men set off. Number them one through four in the order they happened in the story. Our next activity will be to review subject and predicate. 
You can listen to me read the sentences and directions to you, or you can pause the video to do it on your own. Read the sentences. Draw one line under the subject and two lines under the predicate. Then mark whether the verb is in the present, past, or future tense. Number one is done for you. Donald and his younger brother jogged down the street. Donald and his younger brother is the subject of the sentence. Jogged down the street is the predicate. And the verb jogged is in the past tense. So the word past is circled. Number two, mother welcomes Rachel and Gerald. Number three, Elizabeth will come with us. Number four, the whole class complimented the principal's necktie. Number five, Uncle Dan likes jokes. Number six, Tyson bicycled home. Number seven, Dad will label our lunches. Number eight, large lobsters swim in the sea. Number nine, Gabriel orders an appetizer. Number 10, Anita will travel to Africa. Thank you for watching this CKLA video today. There will be another CKLA video posted on YouTube next Wednesday. Can't wait to see you in our Zoom on Thursday. Bye!